Today we're taking a look at EcoFlow's all new Glacier fridge coming in at just $1,000. Is this a good option for you? This is a 38 liter fridge or freezer combo, as it does have a divider that can be taken out and turn it into a single zone or dual zone. As soon as you open the lid, you'll notice it has LED lights inside. That way it can light up the inside during the evening or at night so you can see whatever you might have inside of the unit. And it does have a removable basket as well, along with a small little drain plug cap. That way if you do happen to get any fluid in there, you can drain out the fluid through the little hole in the bottom. It also comes with a smart dividing plate. When taking this plate out, it'll go from a dual zone to a single zone refrigerator or freezer, whichever one you desire. The smart plate or divider plate can actually be stored within the lid. And then this allows you to take it everywhere. That way it's not misplaced or damaged. And you can use it later if you need to, which this is actually a nice option that I happen to like on this fridge because not many of them are dual zone with a removable divider plate. Now being that this unit is relatively heavy at 50 pounds, they do have options like a wheel kit. This allows you to move the unit around a lot easier than just carrying it if you happen to want to make it more mobile and take it other places with you. And it installs relatively easy. By removing the little side plates that are on the side of it, these little kind of bumpers are easily removed by just taking off the one screw. This is on the bottom of the unit. And once this is removed, then you'll take off the little bumper. And then there's a little screw plate that you'll have to remove as well. And then this allows you to attach the handle kit. The handle kit is also telescoping as well. And this is just held in by several screws that go in on each side. And then they also have a small cover plate that this just adheres with a double-sided sticky tape. And then I recommend wiping it off with alcohol first before you end up applying it. But once this is applied, it gives it a nice finished look. But it also has the two wheels. These are easily installed with just two thumb screws and they're also easily removable. That way when you do want to put this back into maybe a vehicle or somewhere else, it can take up less room. And if you do want to make this more streamlined, the main handles are actually removable just by removing this little plate right here. You can take out the two bolts and then make this a little bit more streamlined if you want to put it maybe somewhere a little bit more permanent. Now when you get this out of the box, it will come with some of the standard things like your manual. You'll see a warranty card in there as well, also a quick start guide. You will have a cable as well. This is a DC cable that you can plug into your car or a 12 volt source and it'll come with EcoFlow's XT60i connector. You will have also your AC to DC power pack. This will take AC power and then convert it over to DC and it'll be about 29 to 30 volts coming out of this pack to power up the fridge. Now, as soon as you turn the fridge on with just the button, you'll see the display come up and which is very nice. And one of the first things that you should do is actually get your phone out and update it with the new firmware that might be out. Most of EcoFlow's products when they're delivered will need a firmware update within the app. And you can just go into the settings function, go down to firmware and you'll see if it needs an update. Now, once you've updated the app, you can control the glacier within the app, like dialing in temperatures, turning on ice making modes and more. This is actually super convenient and EcoFlow has some of the best apps out there with all of their smart devices. They're actually pretty impressive as to how much you can control and I find it easier using the app than the actual controls that are on the unit itself. The new glacier is also equipped with the new ice maker, which really this is kind of a step forward in portable fridges as no other portable fridge has an ice maker. Now, depending how hot or cold it is outside will determine how long it takes to make a batch of ice. I ended up finding because of the temperature, at least where I tested this unit, it took about 18 to 22 minutes depending per batch. But after the first batch, uh, batch afterwards ended up getting shorter and shorter to where it started at 22 minutes and worked its way down to about 14 minutes inside a room that was 80 degrees. Now with the ice maker fully full of water, I was able to retrieve about six batches of ice. This included five large sets and one small set of ice cubes. And again, these are pretty nice as it, you know, doesn't take very long, but it does use a lot more power when using the ice maker. 
Now when you are using the ice maker, that will also make the unit quite a bit louder. It's not terribly noisy, but if this was say inside a camper van or maybe an RV if you were using it, you would notice it running as the dB levels did register right around almost 60 to 61 decibels, but that was right next to the unit. Now after you got a few feet away, it dropped off considerably, but you know, again, if you're using the ice maker all the time, it's gonna be louder. And if you drop the ice maker, then this definitely quiets it down considerably. Now this can also be ran off of battery power. They have a 298 watt hour battery that you can purchase. And then this will allow you to run the fridge for about 24 to 30 hours, depending on the conditions out there. I found that with some testing, this used about roughly 15 watts an hour, depending on how you have it set up. When you have it set up as a single zone refrigerator, this is where it's gonna be more efficient and use less power, around 15 watts on average, give or take the conditions and what you're trying to accomplish. Now, it will use almost twice as much power when you do have it set up as a refrigerator and freezer combo. The battery can also be utilized as a large charging brick as it does have a USB-C that is either in or out functional so you can charge up smart devices and more. Now in order for the glacier to make ice, it will either have to be plugged into the AC-DC power brick or you will have to have the battery in place. If you're just trying to run this off of solar, it will not actually make ice, but it will cool the unit down running off of solar, but you will need the battery in place again just to be able to have that function as well. When it's just a full single zone, I found this to be able to hold 35 to 36 bottles of water, but you can stack two cans high with the basket, or you can put two Gatorades tall as well, and it definitely does have enough room to fit most of the essentials to be able to take you out on several days. Now, a couple other things during my test I did find is that with the ice maker on, again, it was a little bit louder, but another thing too is that with all portable fridges like this, this one does put out a considerable amount of heat, especially when the ice maker was on. I found that at the exhaust outlet, as you can see here, it was pumping out almost 110 degrees. So if, if you are trying to use the ice maker quite a bit, um, but even when it is doing its initial cool down, it does put out, again, a decent amount of heat. So that's just something to be aware of. Now the glacier can also be charged up or ran off of solar. But as long as you have the battery in place, then it can still continue to make ice as well. But this will handle 240 watts of solar input. So I ended up using the bifacial EcoFlow solar panel that I have and plugged it in as you can see here. And it was working incredible. And this would be a nice option to add to your fridge if you happen to be somewhere out where you don't have an AC source. Solar is always a great option when powering up any EcoFlow device. Now when you are done with the ice maker, if you want, there is a small water drain on the side of the unit. This will allow you to drain out any leftover water, or at least most of it. I found I couldn't get all of it out unless I kind of tipped it, but at least it's nice to be able to know that you have a drain there. Now, as far as cons go on this unit, at least that I found with some of my testing was a couple things. The amount of heat that does pump out, but that's got to be considered when you do have a portable fridge of this size that does have an ice maker. And also, when I was doing temperature testing, you can see here that I would set this to about 32 to 34 degrees, found that my temperature probes that I had inside, they were reading anywhere from about five to about seven degrees higher than what I had actually set this at. So there might be some firmware updates that might help compensate for that or at least get it a little bit closer. Now the EcoFlow Glacier is definitely a nice portable fridge freezer combo. It's one of the nicest ones I've seen out there, but it is at a premium price but I will have discounts down below. So I'm definitely curious as to what you think about this particular unit. The EcoFlow has just released. Let me know down in the comments. And if you have any questions, you can ask me directly, ask me, and that'll get me in touch with you guys a lot quicker. So let me know what you think down in the comments down below. And if you guys are interested, check out this other video right over here.